What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play! Oh, I can't do that. What the heck? I can't drag items. Okay, um... Uh, in the last episode, we got to the Forest Haven here, and Link's like, Oh god, what's he talking about? And I got a blue potion from this guy, and we learned about the Great Deku Tree, and we're gonna drink this blue potion! <gasps> and there we go, see it? It healed our health. It's freaking perfect. Oh, do I have to show it to you? Great. Um, we're actually, the reason why I drank that blue potion is I actually took a heart, half heart of damage. Um, getting to freaking beetle ship. I was trying to fight more Boku Baba, Boku Babas, Boku Babas, Boku Babas. Yeah, Boku Babas. <laughs> what was it called? That sounds wrong. But uh, anyways, whoa, I swear to God, that guy like threw half of his ingredients like outside the pot there. Um, I decided it would just be worth it since I was already down a heart anyways be Even before I took the half heart damage from a Boku Baba uh, I figured it would just be for the best interest in everybody if I just drank that now and got myself another blue potion And I swear that doesn't even look like a blue potion. It looks like an invisible potion um, You know what we're gonna be smart here and Take it off Take it off Take it off Oh, oh, oh. Uh. That's so stupid. Okay, so. Um, yeah, now with the blue potion in tow and full hearts, let's head towards the second dungeon of the game. Uh, we saw those bubba buds, something like that. <laughs> and we learned that we need to use them. Oh, great, here we go. We need to use them to get up to the great deck tree. Alright, so if you don't move at all, you just go straight up. Um, oh, it seems aiming is a bit different than when we used to. Oh, good lord, why is that so difficult? Alright, you really gotta like aim yourself, I guess. Figure out which exactly which way you jumped in to hold the arrow and it should freaking work. Maybe. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, sucker. Okay, we're gonna take a second here. Alright, that should be good actually. So let's take a take a freaking look here. Ooh, which way we wanna go? Okay, we wanna we wanna go on this branch. Even though we tried to jump on a tree last episode and we fell through it, so I don't know how they expect us to take this. Whoa, this guy looks creepy. Whoa, you're quite good at that, Mr. Knight keep doing that until you get to the way up top of the tree. Holy crap, I butchered that. If you shoot out facing the wrong direction, don't panic. If you don't tilt the L in any direction, you'll land safely back in the bubble bud. Babble bud. We can't reach that crap. If only we had wings. Oh, wait, we do. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> That's so stupid. Okay, so yeah, using our freaking hardcore parkour skill. Oh, good lord. Okay, this looks a bit more scary. Okay, so yeah, you see how we're kind of perfectly lined up? If you're not sure, just don't move the control stick and you'll be able to see, like, watch here. Like, look, we're perfectly lined up with that flower, so we could go, now we can shoot, shoot out here. We can hear the glowy glow. Just because I don't want to fall down here, we're going to take this nice and slow. Alright. Can we do it? Yes, we can. Eh. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so we could have done that. Uh, you guys might see an arrow down to the bottom left there. Uh, oh boy, oh boy, that might have been a mistake. Ho ho ho. So, this is definitely not your crown, dude. What the heck, you lying son of a titty tit? We could totally go higher. And yeah, so we have actually two ways to go here next. Well, first off, let's actually collect this. You got the Deku Leaf! Set it to, yeah, blah blah blah. <laughs> Plant your feet on the ground and use it to blow blasts of air at objects and enemies. You can also jump in the air and use your magic power to drift on the wind's currents of wind. Swordsman, over here! Please, you must fly for there for using the Deku Leaf and stuff. Well, you can do that, but you'll see the camera is also pointing at that. So we go go out that way or that way. Let's actually start off by going out this way, because I do believe we'll end up going both ways. Any well, not really. This is this is bonus content. <gasps> oh, good lord. Okay, okay, okay. I pooped a little bit. Okay, you jump and then you press the button, and yay, it totally worked. Yeah, and at the apex of our jump, press it, and you'll see we now have a green meter just below our hearts. Oh, it even really? It even tells you where you're gonna land now. Oh, it's not gonna tell me what these are. These are magic jars. I believe they come in two sizes. Is that correct? Just like an ocarina of time. Yes. Oh, there we go. There's a small jar. And it's really interesting. The jars take kind of like a tribal look. Well, not really tribal. I guess like clay pottery kind of stuff. I guess it could be like pretty much anywhere. I was kind of surprised we got two large jars there. Those are kind of rare. I'm more rare than the other one. So yeah, we have a small magic meter. We saw we could hover with, or we could pretty much glide with this. But if we stand, a little gust of air. That's pretty freaking far, and it's fantastic. Okay, let's go outside here in the kind of secret hidden area. Woo! 
Oh, oh good lord. I wonder what this is gonna be like. I know of this. I tried to do it the best to the best of my ability in the last game. Holy crap! Jeez, man, that's a lot of magic. Um, I don't think we're gonna wanna do this yet, or jump down there, even though it kinda shows that you're gonna want to. Holy crap. <laughs> so many jars, man. There's way too many. Uh, okay, this is why I bought holy pears. I'm gonna place this on our head. Really? Are, are, are you sure, game? <laughs> Alrighty then. Okay, so let's pull out our ocarina here. There we go. Do -do. It's, having the gamepad here is really nice because it tells me all my songs. No more being like, I don't know what song to play, guys. And it looks like when I use the air, to, the air drifts to go northwest. Oh, yeah, whenever you play a song, apparently the screen gets all furry blizzy. <laughs> furry blizzy! Oh, no! Oh, thank God! Oh my good, holy crap! I didn't. I I thought I was just gonna drop me in the water there, and I'd have to just come down, come back. Wow, that sucked. That was terrifying, but that's okay. Okay, we're down to three hearts. Maybe I should go get another blue potion. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna drift across here. And I believe I'm not gonna test this till we're over the island here. Yeah, you could you could cancel and then you could use it. Uh, we oh I like landed right in front of the sign. Cool. Palace of Figurine. Palace of Figurines. Nintendo Gallery membership required to enter. What's this guy's story? Y you're incredible. D d did you just fly down here? I am pretty incredible. That's the coolest thing ever. Hey, if you could fly, do you think you can maybe hit that switch over there? Huh? Can you? Huh? You can't see it. It's just over there, up toward the top of the Forest Haven. What's that guy hold? Oh, is that a freaking? What is that? Oh, that looks really familiar on his on his bag there. What is that? Don't you have a telescope? I mean, who doesn't in this day and age? <laughs> Dude, what do you have in your arm? Your little hand ba Oh man, what is that? That looks so familiar. It is hurting my brain how familiar it looks. What is what is that? That twitches all the way up top of that island, the base of that branch. You see what I mean? Right in the little nook. Yeah, I'm totally looking at that. 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 Why do you have a camel toe, sir? <laughs> That's really gonna bother me. Tell me what that is, people. I must know. The world must know. All right, let's take a look. Where do you say the base of a tree? The switch is way up top. Oh, oh there it is, right there. Well, that's simple enough. All right, so I thought we actually had to do this from up top there. I guess that's where we came from, right over there. Right there. Oh, that's cool that he says it multiple times. Just in case we missed what he said the first time, which I kind of did, since I was too concerned for what the heck is on this thing. Looks like we only need one Hawaii pair, but you know what? This is completely optional, by the way, guys, and I don't even know if I'm going to do this side quest because it takes... It's one of those side quests that would take forever to do, like, seriously, wait, like, days and days and days, and you don't... I'm pretty sure you don't even get a reward for it, so yeah, use a seagull. Oh, I was going to say, I can fly into that, right? Do not activate that and scare the heck out of that guy. And the earthquake causes the ladder to fall, and it's all a great time. Look at him kind of stumble through. Is he gonna jump down? Oh boy, this looks safe. What is this freaking loss with the hatching crap? Oh, there we go. I no longer care about you, Mr. Seagull. All right, let's go take a look. Do 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 do. This is not what I expect to be doing this episode, to be honest. Oh boy. So, so you remember this whole time? Awesome. Hey, and thanks to you, I got to become a member too. Check it out. I gave this guy a pictograph and he turns me in. Right? And he gave me this figurine in return. Talk about cool. This will be all the rage. I'm not raging. Are you going to say the same thing? You should get some figure aids made too. Alright, I'll talk this way. Welcome. Welcome to the Nintendo Gallery Figurine Palace. Oh, this guy should have a French accent. Oh, bonjour. This is your first time here, is it? Did one of your members provide you with an introduction, I hope? I don't know. This is not French. Ah, well, no worries, one way or another. We've been losing members due to the lack of our of gimmicky attractions, but we don't worry. True fans know we're the coolest. So anyway, do you know what it takes to become a member of our club? The figurines we have on display have all been made using pictographs provided by our devoted members. If you bring me the mass if you bring me the master sculptor a pictograph that steals my breath away you'll become a member and you'll be able to view the collection in our galleries won't that be nice do you have such a pictograph well no but that's okay so what it essentially is asking for is pictures of people and you could actually take a picture of this guy oh you're not gonna be very nice cooperative are you 
Let's take a picture of this guy. You're our number one star, Mr. Dude. And yeah, it's beautiful. Eight out of eight. So you want to generally get the entire body in there. So we're going to use the camera on there and we're going to use this picture. Yeah, let's use it. Oh, what's this? This is in black and white. Monochrome pic pictographs just don't provide the kind of inspiration I need to create a beautiful figurine, I'm afraid. Wow, what a dick bag. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, hey, sorry, but only members all live in your gallery. So how do I become a member? Okay, so in, or in other words, oh, it could be a person or a monster. You just have to be careful. Full body shot, subject facing you. So but we need... I am making these figurines for free, so I figure there should be a lot of one rule, don't you? So you can't go in any of these places. Spoilers, they're all empty and you're the only person that you're gonna be giving pictographs to. Essentially, what they're asking you to do is take a picture of every single model in this game. Yeah, it's a big task. Some of them we've, we can't even go to see anymore, such as like, uh, what's his face? Um, Goma that we fought in Dragon Roost Island and like, there's a whole bunch of enemies like that that we will never see again, and like, very special characters that we only see like at the beginning of the game, and we only get one shot to get their picture. Although it is made a lot more easier, since what, there's like 15 available pictures on this camera, is that correct? Two, oh, 12, okay, even so, that's quite a bit. Alright, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna get another blue potion, so I think it's worth it to go into this dungeon with full hearts for sure. Alright, you're gonna be a dink bag. I should probably be using this every time just to ensure I get, um, any seeds. What the balls? Why would, why would, why did he go away? Oh, good lord! Okay, thank you guys for watching. Wait a minute, we're only 11 minutes into this. Uh, <laughs> I'll see you guys in a minute once I'm back up top here. You know, I don't need to fight these guys. Screw it. Grab their seeds and I run away. Already! I like how they give you a symbol here to tell you exactly where we're gonna go. Okay, so we're back to where we got the Deku Leaf. We've done all we can up there. Ooh, actually, there's one more thing I want to try here. <gasps> oh, good lord. What? No way. No way. Okay, actually, this might be salvageable still. Okay. Uh, woo! Okay, actually, if you take a look at our magic meter, when we go in this, yeah, this, this pod thing. What are these called? Deku buds or Baba buds? Yeah, Baba buds. Baba buds. Um, oh, good lord. Ah, so scary. Woo! <laughs> oh boy. If you take a look, uh, we get our magic back from them. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, I did not think I was going to make that for a second there. Alright, no point in breaking this crap. Can we get up on top, the very tippy top of this tree? I don't remember. Oh, it doesn't look like we can. Whoa, we can go over there, though. How do we. How? 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 I don't see how we do that. What? Looks like there's something. I actually don't know what's over here, guys. I'm like racking my brain. Where's my telescope? Oh, there it is. <laughs> so say, did I, does this game steal my telescope from my inventory? What the heck is going on? Oh, great. The tree's blocking my way. Um, oh, good lord. I don't want to really get too close here. Oh, that's just a plant. I thought that was something else. I thought that was like a sign or something. Um... I don't, I really don't think we can make this, but YOLO! Jank, oh, never mind, we can totally make that. I don't know, I have no clue what's this way. No bloody idea. Well, then that was a lot easier than I thought. I figured I'd be going down a lot more than that. Um, yeah, let's see what the heck, oh! Oh, I don't want to do this a third time. Good lord. Okay then, um, <laughs> this sucks, but I guess we're doing this now. Alright, let's play the Winds of Requiem and figure out which way the wind is either A, going, or B. Oh, he d I don't play the song again, really? I guess... I guess I want the wind going south? I guess, right? Does that look right? Oh, man. Oh, I... No, I want to go in more of that way... Let's try that again. God oh, dang it. If you mess up, a good way to reset the thing is just going to 4 force or 6 force. Instead of just, you know, waiting for it to cycle through. So I guess I want to go more that way, right? Let's try that. Oh, there we go. Perfect, right? 
Let's wait for the wind gusts here to show us, to confirm. That's better. Okay, um, hmm. Yellow swiggles! Oh god, there's beetle ship down there. And the magic beetle ship. Oh, good lord. At least we have the thing to tell us where we're gonna land. That was not in the original game. Oh, there we go. Okay, hard ha half heart of damage, half heart of damage. Let's open this chest. This is the only way to get up here, I'm assuming. <laughs> oh, good lord. Well, at least we figured out that there was something up here. We got the treasure chart. Open the chart on the map screen. I have yet to actually look at, um, not any guides, but like, anything that will, that, like, specifically tells me where things are. How do we... I'm just gonna swim all the way over there? That almost seems wrong, but like, I guess so. I'm not sure it was like a teleport or something. All right, I'll see you guys back up to where the Deku Leaf was. Good lord, see you guys in a second. I'm not gonna make it. Well, at least we got a tingle bottle. Are we seriously? Oh, we might make it. Holy crap, we're so close. Oh, oh. Holy crap, guys. Holy crap, I did not think we were going to make that. What the heck, Boatman? You didn't even come to save me, Boatman. Uh, Taylor from Spectacle Island says he's crabby. Ha 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 ha. That's so stupid. Ooh, I wonder if we could show this guy this, these pictures. I want to save that. Is there anything else we could save? No. I guess not. Stanley from Windfall Island says dramatic post box is dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, see so you guys at the top of the tree again. <gasps> no, 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 no! <gasps> Good God, no way! <gasps> what? Okay, we're back, and good lord, I haven't probably raged that bad in quite a while. I don't know how much of that I'm going to show. Uh, oh, I should have used my freaking... Oh, well, whatever. Um, ignore me. Um, I, I don't... I had a hell of a time getting it back into this freaking forest. Because all those freaking Deku Baba assholes outside kept knocking me down. I kept falling off when I would jump, and oh, so frustrating. Very good, Mr. Susman. You've already mastered the Deku Leaf. But since you're so much heavier than we are, you, you can't fly very far, can you? How unfortunate. Well, anyway, it's the exit that leads to the Forbidden Woods, where our brother Makar is being held. Please take care of Makar. All right, I'll be gentle with Makar's senpai. Ooh, the great outdoors. Look, it's the... Oh, great. First, we're in the Forsaken Forest. Then we're in a freaking volcano. And now we're going to the Forbidden Woods. What's wrong with these people that send me to these places? I wonder if we could have made that. I, I highly doubt it. Like, I, as I made it to that island over there, I almost jumped off. Actually, I think if you jump off, you're okay. Oh boy, this is another thing I had a lot of trouble with as a children's. Congratulations, Swordman! It appears you've finally gotten the Deku Leaf. The eerie looking island over there is home to the Forbidden Woods. Makar is trapped somewhere within there. You'll have to float over the entrance from here using your Deku Leaf, but when you're flying with the Deku Leaf, you'll be at the mercy of the wind. If the wind can't carry you there, you'll fall to the sea before you land. If only the wind were blowing in the right direction to carry you there. One tip, whenever you're using the Wind Waker and you're going to change the direction of the winds, stand the direction you want the wind to go. It'll make your life... Good lord. It'll make your life a lot easier, and I will show you guys why in a uno momento here. See, I'm standing in the direction I want to go. Looks like... Looks like southwest is my best bet. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's definitely the way I want to go. Because, yeah, it goes an overhead view. Okay, so I think we want to use that updraft to our advantage here. Just jump for it now. Oh, that might have been too early. I think that was too early. <laughs> Alright, let's try and float towards it. Uh, ooh, ooh, uh, there we go. I almost wonder if we could have made it without that. Ooh, that was kind of risky. All right. Nice job, Swordsman. It looks like you've already mastered using the Deku Leaf. You're a quick study. The first thing you should do is cut the grass around you to replenish your magic. The entrance to the Forbidden Woods is on a much higher level than the entrance to our for first haven. In order to get to such a high place, you'll have, you'll catch a swirling updraft. Can you see the updraft, Swordsman? The updraft is <laughs> around you here. Move swiftly. 
You have to have it, you have to have your jump just right so that the wind will fill your deku leaf and carry you to the updraft, giving you the lift you need. Once you're floating on high, just let the wind take you to the entrance of the woods. Alright, so we're gonna want to change the wind direction again. To somewhere over yonder. Alright, looks like Northwest is the way we want to go. Like, you know, the child, Northwest, Kim Kardashian, and freaking Kim Kanye West's baby. <laughs> Alright, so keep in mind the distance this whirlwind is between us and this island. Because that is pretty freaking hard to time. It looks like it's just right there. Well, in the camera phase, it looks like you can just jump off and you'll be immediately in it. But you do gotta time it more correctly like i'm gonna say probably jump when it's like three-fourths around the island here or one-fourth away like right now i guess oh boy oh that was too early i think all right i might lose okay here we go there's nothing that's really scary <laughs> i hate those guys they're buttheads <laughs> all right all right we did it okay oh go he's here Oh no! Woo! <laughs> Seems like really ridiculous. I think it's called P hats? If I'm correct? Oh yeah! Oh dang it! So the best way to take care of them is to use our swirling winds and I'll knock them out. I'll knock their like, they can't spin their stupid little hats. Did I kill the one? Oh maybe I'm just, when I'm knocking them they fall into the sea or some crap. Anyways! Alright, head to the Forbidden Woods, which appears to be another giant tree growing from the ocean. A lot of people think that the Deku tree in this game is the same Deku tree from Ocarina of Time. Like, not the one that died, but the one that, like, was planted. But I don't know. I have no idea. Um, this is the Forbidden- oh, good lord, jeez, I just took a freaking se- Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Alright. Yeah, this guy only- Ah, oh, that guy only need one more hit. Ooh, actually- Ooh, good. I think- Oh, no, never mind. Okay, we can stun these guys. Holy crap! Oh, no! Right. Oh, man. They just go up and down so quickly, man. <laughs> Funny, because these guys never gave me issues in the original game. Jeez, there's so many! I want to end off the episode, man! Come on. Uh, <laughs> Alrighty then. Thank you guys so very, very much for watching this episode of Let's Play Ocarina of Time. I mean, let's play the Wind Waker HD Blind, visually blind. If you guys enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. It would help me out a lot. It, it also means a lot to me. Um, in fact, if you do, leave a comment down below telling me you've done so. And I will personally thank you and give you a high five. Sound good? Sound good. Okay, sound good. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next one, we'll tackle on the second dungeon in the game with the crazy grass. A crazy scary looking grass. It looks more like spiky weeds than anything. Um, talk to you guys later. Bye bye The camera's in the wall and it's really bright outside. But not anymore.